Hi, this is Serena from Festival Bookkeeping. This video is going to cover attaching files to transactions in Xero. So the first thing I'd like to show you is uh, how to attach a copy of a cash register receipt to a spend money transaction. Now I've already entered the spend money transaction so I'm just going to go look for it in my account transaction list. And this is the one I'm looking for here. Office works on the 26th of October. So I'll open that one up. The first method we're going to use is drag and drop. So just a matter of opening up my files and looking for the receipts. So I've got a folder called receipts. I save all my receipts in the financial year and I also save them according to the month. And here we can see um, Officeworks 26th of October 2016. Just a matter of clicking on that, dragging and dropping. So now it says file uploaded, so that one's all good and has been attached to the transaction. If you accidentally attach the wrong file, just a matter of clicking back up here, clicking on the little red X and selecting delete. So that's gone now. So the second method of attaching a file to your transaction uh, involves clicking on this one to start with. So clicking on this icon, clicking on upload files, finding our receipt once again. I click on that and select open. And once again, that has been successfully uploaded. So if we go back to our transaction list, we can see now on the office works one sitting at the top here now we've got the little paper icon with the number one next to it showing us that uh, we have attached one file to that transaction so it makes sense to attach files to your transaction because it means when you're looking for more information about that transaction you don't have to go back through all your um, paper filing to find the document and also your bookkeeper or accountant can easily log into your zero file and simply find any supporting documentation that they need. So it makes life a lot easier. The second thing that we're going to look at is attaching a file where the client can see it as well. So I've already created an invoice for Bobby Flanagan. So I'm just going into my sales. And this one's awaiting payment. And here's my invoice to Bobby Flanagan. So I open that one up. Now in this example, I'm renting out an office to Bobby and I've invoiced him for his month's rent. And I want to attach a copy of the original uh, rental agreement that um, we have. So once again, opening up my filing, coming back to my folder called property lease and there is my agreement. So once again, dragging and dropping. That one's now uploaded. As it is, Bobby won't be able to see it. So what we need to do is click over here on the drop down arrow and select include with invoice. And now Bobby will be able to see it when he receives that original invoice by email. So very occasionally you will get an error message when you try to attach files. So I've found that changing your web browser can help. So if you are using Mozilla Firefox, it might just be a matter of changing to Internet Explorer. Um, I've also found that saving files as PNGs can help as well. So Xero actually allows you to use 29 different types of files. So that could be Excel spreadsheets, PDF files, um, PNGs, things like that. So some other uh, types of documents you may want to attach, um, just to give you some examples, we've shown receipts, but you could also attach an Excel spreadsheet. So if you've done a calculation that you want to um, provide as supporting documentation for a transaction, you can upload that. Uh, superannuation in Australia, you might want to attach a copy of the reports that you used to find those superannuation figures. Also in Australia, uh, if you're paying your BAS obligations, you might want to attach a copy of the ATO's lodgement confirmation page. 
and supporting reports as well so that's just a couple of ideas now lastly there is another um, type of uh, document that you can attach in zero just show you quickly um, I'm going into accounts and I'm looking at my inventory list so zero will actually let us attach documents to inventory items as well so we just click on an inventory item and you can see that we've got the option up here to attach files just like we did with the other transactions so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the festival bookkeeping youtube channel so that you don't miss out on future videos and you can also connect with me on other social media platforms